Only a few of you will watch this. At this moment, I'm recording this video series over a couple of days. We're going to post them all at once on YouTube, and I can promise that this video will get the fewest views, yet it's probably the most important one. You'll notice the videos that get the most views are the ones that make the most outlandish claims about what's, what's possible in day trading. Most traders are only interested in trade setups, looking at charts and indicators, and hearing promises about how much money they can make. Trading videos like the ones on the screen here that say I made this much profit in one day will get thousands of views. Videos like the one I'm recording right now will only get a few, but that's okay. This stuff still needs to be said. For those that have a realistic expectation of what is required, will hear this with an open mind and maybe, just maybe, it will help one or two of the very few to watch this particular video all the way through. P.T. Barnum says there's a sucker born every minute, and it appears there are an awful lot of traders that are suckers based on the number of views that these videos with outlandish claims get. So today I want to talk to you about what I know that you don't know. What I know about trading, about the markets, and more importantly about you. Yeah, I realize this is an arrogant statement, but let me, let me qualify it just a bit. I was an unsuccessful trader for seven years. I've been a full-time professional trader for nearly 10 years. I've seen both sides. I've talked with hundreds of traders, and they all have the same issues. Have you ever been in a three-person conversation and you realize that the other two people are not understanding what the other is saying, yet you understand what both of them are saying, and, and you know that they don't understand each other, that they're, that they're missing something, and you feel compelled to clear it up for them? That is what I mean when I say that I know or I understand things that you don't know if you haven't achieved, achieved success in trading. I know that you're not hearing the right things. I know that your understanding of trading is missing something. And I know what those things are because I was there. Please don't take anything I say personally. By and large, this information will apply to all or most of you. I know that markets today don't play by the same rules as they used to. These market makers are providing the majority of the liquidity to the markets. They can pretty much do whatever they want. They have the money, they have the supercomputers, and they have the speed because they're able to put these supercomputers inside the exchanges, or at least very close to them. So these supercomputers can execute trades much more quickly than us retail traders could ever imagine. That changes the rules of the markets today. Yet, most trading systems are still trying to trade the old market dynamics. There are new trading systems coming along all the time, but if you look carefully at them, they're still doing the same things that have been done for decades. You probably think you're very close to finally seeing success, or you're on your way. You probably feel like there's one or two little tweaks to your system, and you'll finally get there. I did that of the seven years I struggled, most of those seven years, I was looking for those one or two little tweaks. I saw just enough success to keep trying. I knew that missing piece was out there, but I just couldn't find it. I know that you probably don't want to give up on the mistakes that you've been making because you've spent so long and so much time making them. To stop, wipe the slate clean, and start from scratch is a very painful proposition. I know that there are some automated trading systems that work great, right until they don't. The problem is automated trading systems don't let you know when the conditions in the market have changed that will keep that trading system from working the way it used to work. Conditions change, automated trading systems don't know to make changes and adjustments. They will stop working, but their trading rules suggest that you must stay with the system during the downtimes before it turns around and it starts generating profits again. The problem is, is most of us will lose all the money we gain from the system plus the money that it costs to develop the system. Backtesting these systems does not work and is a complete waste of time. Never met somebody who had back tested 
a system and ended up trading that system live with real money and get the same results. It just doesn't happen. Being a successful trader is a job. It is not a hobby. If you're approaching it as a hobby, that's fine, but you need to adjust your expectation. I expect most of you are still approaching trading as a hobby. You prioritize trading behind many other parts of your life. If you approached it the way you approach your job or your profession, you would be spending 6, 8, 10, 12 hours a day working at your trading. Having information about trading is not knowledge. Perusing trading forums is not knowledge. Watching videos about trading is not knowledge. This is information gathering. If you're gathering a lot of information about trading because you find it interesting and fascinating, great. You're a hobbyist and you can have too much information. Too much information creates gray areas creates confusion. It's like trying to add every ingredient in your kitchen to a single recipe. You will not end up with something that's very good. You don't have complete and total confidence that what you're doing when you're trading, that your trading system, that your ability to trade that system is the right thing. And if you don't have total, complete, and ultimate confidence that when you sit down every day, there's a high probability you're going to end that day as a winning trader, then you are going to struggle at trading. You must have confidence that you're doing the right thing or you don't know what to be practicing to become a better trader. What I know that you don't know, you can't make any money trading for larger targets with small or single lots. The only way to make money trading for larger targets is to trade with multiple lots and learn how to scale when price begins to pull back before it continues on its way towards your target. Otherwise, you're going to struggle with your emotions as price fluctuates towards and away from your profit target. You won't ever overcome your emotions, and they know it. The market knows it. The market makers know it. They know how to get you to react emotionally. They know exactly what you're going to do every single time they manipulate the market and that's why they're rich trading is a skill and all skills must be practiced to become proficient practice even more if you want to become a professional the thing i know more than any of that is that you prefer not to believe most of what i've said because it doesn't really mesh with your beliefs your understandings your desires as it relates to trading you want it to be easy you believe it should be easy that's what got you into trading and i know that we can help you become a better and more consistent trader we've done it for thousands and we can do it for you this concludes our part six in our video series introduction to second brain trading. For more information, please contact us at support at theintentionaltrader.com.